So recently, I've been taking a lot of uh, night photography and night landscapes that a lot of people seem to have been liking. And when they see what camera I've been using, uh, the Ricoh GR, I see a lot of Ricoh users are have been asking me, how do I do this? So I decided I'm going to make a video showing you guys how to do easy night photography with the Ricoh GR specifically. First, you will need to set up your camera. So now I'm going to show you how to set your Ricoh GR to take night photography. First, we're going to go make sure our dial is on the M manual mode, or you can set up one of your My One settings. Then, we're going to go to the settings, go to our button layouts, and find the set FN1 button, the FN2 button, and effect button and set and button setting. So, basically how I have it, what I found was easiest for me is going to have the FN1 button is going to be autofocus snap. FN2 is going to be snap focus distance and the effect button on the side here is going to be your self timer. So if you want to pause the video, try to get these settings, uh, that'd be pretty easy. So I'm going to explain what this does. So the FN1 button here basically turns on autofocus snap. This is without it. This is what it's on. So you can see the meter here. Without it, my camera is going to try to autofocus. And with it, it won't autofocus because it's manually set. So the FN button here, the FN2, basically lets you set the distance. So in our case, night photography is going to be infinite. So that way, no matter what, it's going to manual focus infinitely outward, which is best for stars and stuff. So then we're going to go to the effect button here, press that, and you can set yourself timer. I have the first one's no seconds, the second one's two seconds, and then the third one is one picture in 10 seconds. And I'll explain that in just a bit. The two second timer lets the camera settle after you take the picture so that it is never shaken or blurry. Here's a before and an after. The one picture in 10 seconds timer is good for any modeling you might have to do. Or if you need to have your model have some extra time to prepare themselves. In this case, it's me. Next, once you have your snap distance and timer set, you need to choose which ISO and time you wish to expose your photo to. For ISO and the GR and night photography together, always take the photo in anything under ISO 400 to avoid grain, which is very prominent in the GR. Next, for time, we'll have to calculate which is the best time to expose before star trails appear. To do this, simply divide 500 by your focal length. In this case, it's 500 divided by 18, which means if you do not want star trails, your max exposure will be 25 seconds or under. If you want star trails, then shoot anywhere above 25 seconds. Finally, go outside and pick a good place to shoot your photo. It's just now December here in Wyoming, and my balls were almost frozen off taking this video. Here's the photo that came straight out of the GR. So have fun taking photos with the GR, and uh, if you have any suggestions or questions, please comment.